Hello everyone. I've been using Open Project Taiga, ClickUp, Asana, and Jira for a while now. These are some project management tools, and today I'm here to tell you. And today I'm here to tell you that each one has its own vibe, strengths, and quirks. And after spending countless hours managing tasks, tweaking workflows, and sometimes pulling my hair out over integrations, I'm ready to share what I think about these tools. Whether you're running a small startup, a software dev team, or a cross departmental project, this deep dive is is going to help you make sense of these five heavyweights in project management. So. Why compare these five? Well, there are some of the most popular tools out there, each catering to slightly different needs. Open Project and Taiga are open source champs, great for customization and cost conscious teams. ClickUp is the all in one powerful. ClickUp is the all in one powerhouse that tries to do everything. Asana's got that sleek, user friendly vibe for teams who want simplicity with polish. And Jira, it's the go to for software developers who live and breathe agile. But which one's the best? Spoiler: It depends on your team's needs, but I'll give my personal pick at the end. In this video, I'm going to break down what each tool does and what it's great at, and where it falls short, and of course, who it's best for. I'll spend a couple of minutes on each, so you'll get a clear picture without drowning in details. By the end, you'll have a solid sense of which tool might work for you, and I'll wrap it up with my personal choice and why I think it's the winner for me. Ready? Let's dive in. First up, we have Open Project. I've been using Open Project for a long time, and it's a fantastic open source option for teams who want control without breaking the bank. This tool is like the Swiss Army knife for option. This tool is like the Swiss Army knife of project management. Robust, customizable, and built for traditional and agile workflows. You get Gantt charts for planning, Kanban boards for agile sprints, and even time and cost tracking, which is rare in open source tools. The interface is modern but not flashy, and it's highly secure with features like GDPR compliance and self-hosting options for data-sensitive teams. What I love about Open Project is its flexibility. You can tweak it to fit almost any project type: software, dev, construction, you name it. It's also a strong Jira alternative with deep issue tracking and agile support. But without the licensing fees, for a team of ten, you could run it for free if you self-host, which is a huge win for startups and nonprofits. But it's not perfect. The setup can be a bit technical, especially if you're self-hosting, and it might feel overwhelming for smaller teams who just want a plug-and-play solution. Also, while it's feature-rich, it lacks polished UX of something like Asana. If your team isn't tech-savvy, you might need a dedicated admin to keep things smooth. Who's this for? Well, Open Project is ideal for teams who need customizable, secure, and cost-effective tools, especially if you're managing complex projects across industries. If you're comfortable with some setup effort, it's a powerhouse that punches above its weight. Next, let's talk about Taiga. I've been using Taiga for a while now, and it's some open source gem. But this one's laser focused on agile teams, especially di- especially designers and developers. Taiga's interface is clean, intuitive, with a big emphasis on Kanban boards, Scrum sprints, and user stories. It's like Trello's cooler, more agile cousin, with features like customizable workflows, epics, and advanced reports like burn down charts. What stands out is how collaborative Taiga feels. You can easily manage backlogs, link issues to sprints, and visualize workflows, which make it a dream for small to medium-sized agile teams. It also integrates with tools like GitLab and Zapier, though the integration depth isn't as robust as Jira's. The fact that it's free for self-hosted setups or affordable for cloud plans makes it super budget-friendly. On the downside, Taiga's feature set is narrower than Open Project or ClickUp. If you're not running agile projects, you might find it limiting. No Gantt charts or budget tracking here. Also, some users report that integrations can feel clunky, and there's no built-in time tracking, which could be a deal breaker for some. Who's Taiga for? Well, it's perfect for agile teams, think startups, freelancers, or dev shops who want a simple visual tool that's free or low cost. If your projects revolve around Scrum or Kanban, and you don't need bells and whistles, Taiga's a lean, mean project management machine. All right, let's move on to ClickUp. I've been using ClickUp for a while now, and wow, this tool is ambitious. It's marketed as the everything app for work, and it's not kidding. ClickUp offers task management, Kanban boards, Gantt charts, time tracking, custom dashboards, and even docs and whiteboards. It's like someone took Asana, Jira, and Trello, threw them in a blender, and added the sprinkle of Notion. What I love is the customization. You can tailor views, statuses, and fields to fit any workflow, from managing campaigns to software sprints. The free plan is generous, unlimited tasks, and users with 100 megabytes of storage. And paid plans start at just $10 per user per month. This makes it one of the most affordable options. It also integrates with tons of apps like Zapier, and the agile templates are solid for dev teams. But here's the catch: ClickUp can be overwhelming with so many features. The learning curve is steep, and the interface, while improving, isn't as intuitive as Asana's. Some users, including me, have noticed performance hiccups with large projects, and the dependency management isn't as slick as Jira's. 
Who's this for? Well, ClickUp is great for teams who want a single tool to handle diverse projects. Think growing businesses or cross-functional teams. If you're cost conscious and don't mind investing time to set it up, ClickUp's versatility is hard to beat. Just be ready to tinker. Now let's talk about Asana. I've been using Asana for a while now, and it's a gold standard for user-friendly project management. Asana's interface is sleek, intuitive, and perfect for teams who want to hit the ground running. It supports multiple views, Kanban, lists, timeline, and calendar. And its work graph model maps tasks to goals, making it easy to see how work ties to outcomes. What I love is how Asana builds simplicity with power. You can create tasks, set dependencies, and automate workflows without feeling overwhelmed. The timeline view is great for planning, though it doesn't include subtasks, which is bummer compared to ClickUp. Asana's integrations are top-notch, Slack, Google Drive, and even Jira for cross-tool syncs. The free plan covers unlimited tasks for up to 15 users, and premium plans start at $10.99 per user per month. On the flip side, Asana isn't as customizable as Jira or OpenProject, and it's not built for deep, agile workflows, like Taiga. Tasks can only be assigned to one person, which can frustrate collaborative teams. Also, advanced features like Asana Intelligence are locked behind pricier plans. Who's Asana for? Well, it's ideal for non-technical teams, marketing, HR, or agencies who need a polished, easy-to-use tool for medium-complex projects. If you value UX and want minimal setup, Asana's your pick. Finally, we have Jira. I've been using Jira the most, and it's the king of agile project management, especially for software development. It's built by Atlassian. Jira is all about Scrum, Kanban, and issue tracking with a timeline view and workload management that's perfect for dev teams. You can customize hierarchies, log hours, and integrate with GitHub or Bitbucket seamlessly. What sets Jira apart is its depth. You can build custom workflows, set up sprint automations like moving unfinished tasks to the backlog, and track progress with detailed reports. The cloud version is easy to set up, and the free plan supports up to 10 users. Premium plans start at around $8.15 per user per month, unlocking advanced features like custom hierarchies. But Jira isn't for everyone. It's complex with a steep learning curve that can intimate non-dev teams. The interface feels outdated compared to Asana and ClickUp, and it's overkill for simple task management. Also, while it's great for agile, its scan charts and dependency handling lag behind tools like Open Project. Who's Jira for? Well, it's built for software dev teams or large organizations running agile at scale. If you're managing sprints, user stories, and code integrations, Jira's your workhorse. Just be prepared to invest time in setup and training. All right, we've covered all the projects, Open Project, Taiga, ClickUp, Asana, and Jira. Each is a beast in its own right. So which one's my personal choice? Well, after weighing all the pros and cons, I'm going with ClickUp, and here's why. ClickUp's versatility is unmatched, it's not perfect, and sometimes it feels like it's trying to do too much. But it's the only tool here that can handle everything from agile sprints to marketing campaigns to budget tracking in one place. The customization lets me tailor it to my team's needs, whether we're a small startup or a growing business. The free plan is generous and the paid plans are wallet-friendly, which is a huge cost for cost-conscious teams. Sure, the learning curve is steep and the interface can lag, but once it's dialed in, it's a game-changer. That said, your choice depends on your needs. If you're an agile dev team, Jira or Taiga might be better for their sprint-focused workflows. Need something simple and pretty? Asana's your go-to. On a tight budget and tech-savvy, Open Project's open-source power is hard to beat. But for me, ClickUp's balance for features, affordability, and flexibility seals the deal. So, what do you think? Are you team ClickUp or do you vibe with another tool? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's keep the conversation going. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.